Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here, hello, my name is Twee. Welcome to my YouTube family. So in today's video, I'm going to be mixing things up and we're going to do a beauty and non-beauty favourites. I love watching these kinds of videos. So if you guys want to see what I've been loving this month, please keep watching. So let's start off with beauty first. I have been absolutely loving the KKW concealer and powder. It's very dirty. Oh my god. And the concealer I got in the shade number six. And shade six is perfect because I actually don't like my under eyes to be too light. And this is basically just light enough. This will probably be like an NC30. So if you want to go a bit lighter than that, maybe go for number five. If I had a chance to try a few more shades, I would love to try this in a slightly darker shade to actually match my skin tone because the formula I can actually wear on its own as well. It's not too dry. It kind of reminds me of a bit of shape tape mixed with a little bit of NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. That's what it reminds me of on the eyes and it brightens up really, really well. And I love the applicator as well. It's really nice and bendy. So when you switch under the eyes it just bends right underneath that curves and then the powder I got in the shade number three and this is really really nice to bake underneath the eyes the only thing I don't like about it is that it's so small you only get 0.123 ounces so it's freaking tiny so I'm going to compare this to the Huda Beauty powder which is literally like double and a bit more of the size. When I first got it, I was like, oh my god, it's tiny. It looks like a sample. I've been loving this. It goes really nice and bright underneath the eyes. It's a perfect shade of yellow where it doesn't make everything look too yellowish and Simpson y ish underneath the eyes. It just brightens up so well. And the powder is perfect for baking because it is a baking powder. While I'm talking about that powder, I do absolutely love the Huda Beauty Easy Bake powders. Honestly, it's so nice to find a good baking powder that's not too chunky, not too drying. Like, I love I love my Laura Mercier one, but if my skin is feeling dry and like that, I can't use it because it just looks too cakey. I've been loving the shade called Pound Cake. I didn't think I would like this powder as much as I do. I thought I would stick with the yellow base powder, which is banana bread. I actually love both of these colours. When I want a bit more brightening, I'll go for banana bread. But if I just want like a just a nice bake underneath the eyes, then I'll go for Pound Cake. And it's not a pure white. It's kind of a creamy white, like how the Laura Mercier translucent powder is as well. This little applicator thing, it does make everything a lot less messy but sometimes when you want to get a lot of powder on your beauty blender because there's a neck there it makes it quite hard the only thing I don't like about this is the smell if I had to pick out these two what one I would spend my money on I would probably pick the Kim Kardashian one only because I find this one's really nice and bright and it doesn't have the smell if the smell doesn't bother you as much the Huda Beauty powders are lovely and you get more for your money as well in here. Oh my god, I also have to talk about my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. When I first used this product, I was so excited to use it and then when I tried it, I was like, mm, not too sure. But the more and more I used it, the more and more I really, really like it. It's very creamy. It's definitely a lot more creamier than this. I feel like with this product, when I blend it away, it kind of really, really blends in, whereas this one gives a bit more coverage, it's a bit more matte. Whereas this one's really nice, even if I'm not wearing makeup, I can put this on top and it gives me coverage, but it also blends out really nice where you can't see, oh my gosh, she's wearing loads of concealer on her skin. Another product that I totally forgot to tell you guys about is a beauty product, and I actually keep it stored away back there because I want to keep all my lip products together. But I've been loving the Huda Beauty Demi Matte Lip product so this is brand new the packaging is just genius like so simple so chic this is actually in the shade called day slayer it's probably my favorite shade out of all the collection and it's a really really nice light kind of pale pinky nude and i love the way this feels on the lips it's so nice and so opaque when you apply it huda is definitely pumping out the products like she literally released her powders then she released the demi mask and then she released a primer like it's just all coming at once it's a bit overwhelming but we're rolling with it so the next point i'm going to talk about is a hair product and it's going to look very very weird but it's actually like a little weft so this hair extension piece is actually for a brand called beauty works the main reason why i got this is because i saw desi perkins video about how she does her hair up and her hair down and stuff and it looked really really cool and i was after a piece like this where it's just one attachment that you put into your head and let me show you how many clips it's got it's actually got like i think eight clips on here so you put this into your hair and 
and it just gives you so much more volume. For me personally, I actually have a lot of hair. My hair is really long and stuff, but what I find with it is when I put my hair up, all of the bottom bits looks really, really thin. So with this, you just literally put one clip in and you get so much more hair. And this is really nice and thick as well. I do wish this would have come in a slightly longer length. I think this is 20 inches, which my hair is actually longer than 20 inches, which I just found out. So my hair is actually a bit longer than this, but it just makes my hair look a bit more layered. For me personally, I get sent a lot of hair extensions, but what I don't like about them, the wefts are really thin. So some people might think that's good because you won't be able to see it, but I personally want as less clips as possible, but the most amount of hair. I don't like feeling like when I pat my head that there's loads of clips in there because my head feels really stiff and it just feels a bit claustrophobic. So the less work I have to put in, just one you know in there is literally perfect it's also really good if you part your hair on the side and then you just want this bit to be really nice and full you just put this clip on this side and then you have a lot more hair so yeah it's a really really cool way to give it loads of volume and loads more hair without having to layer up so much extensions and stuff like that okay so next up we're going to move away from beauty and then we're going to move more into like fashion-y type stuff so i have been really loving fanny packs this month this is the one i'm currently using at the the moment i also have this in nude so this is a nude version and then i also have the black one so i literally interchange the reason why i really like these fanny packs is because before i used to always go for backpacks and i just found that it made my back really really sweaty i actually went for a massage and the masseuse told me that i am slouching on one side it's probably because of the way i wear my handbag she said this side is a bit lower or something like that and she said that you know i'm still young now so i need to like use both of the straps because most of the time i just sling it over one shoulder and I'm just like limping like this but I actually need to start taking care of my body. So Fanny Packs is a really good way to have everything with you. You put your phone, my vlogging camera can even go in here. I've got my makeup at the front, just my card and my keys and that's all I need really. I really like Fanny Packs because it keeps your hands free. So perfect for festivals, really, really good way to have everything on you. Sometimes backpacks are scary because when you sling it over your shoulder, people can open up the pocket and stuff. I also really love the fact that when you eat a lot, you can just use this, you know, and cover up the belly pooch you know if you've got that kind of like a few rolls going on after a few burritos you know so yeah i've been loving fanny packs these are from pretty little thing i don't know if i've mentioned that but they have loads on the pretty little thing website and they're just really in style at the moment i've also tried to order quite a few other fanny packs but what i didn't like about them is that you couldn't put a lot in them whereas i want something that you can really open up and you can see everything some of the fanny packs you get is actually really small you can only just put about a few cards and some change in there whereas this one you can actually really fill it out so it gets really really fat and then it also goes back to being really slim so yay for fanny packs so glad they're making a comeback isn't it so weird how fashion changes so much like i remember when the big big bags were in like the bigger the bag the better and then it went into tiny little baby backpacks and now it's gone to fanny packs and it just constantly changes all the time i bought hella chokers when chokers were in and now i never wear a choker because it makes my neck look really short and i look really stumpy in them when it does come back i'm pretty sure it will come back you know I'm covered. Okay, so the next few items that I have to tell you guys about is actually mini sunglasses. So I have always said that I love oversized sunglasses because I have a really big head. So a lot of sunglasses actually don't look very flattering on me at all. A lot of my friends, a lot of my Instagram, you know, bloggers that I follow and stuff, they've been wearing these smaller sunglasses. And I'll at first I was like, oh my god, like why is this coming in? I haven't got the face shape for it. I feel like anyone could kind of rock this you just have to wear it a bit lower down so you just put it down here so cute for a photo like if you look down and look up it's a really really great way actually of covering up any sweat so a lot of times around here is where my makeup breaks up but because i have my glasses i feel like it kind of covers that bit up and then also what i like about it is that you can wear this kind of like indoors at festivals and you don't have to worry too much about your makeup and you can still look cool for the photo and you can actually still see stuff because when i look in front i can still see you guys because you wear these glasses more on like the end of your nose so you wouldn't wear it like this like this is horrible you'd wear it like a bit lower and it's very instagrammable i have this in also red it also comes in a pink color as well this is also from pretty little thing i've been loving pretty little thing like their stuff slays like every time i go on their website they have just some bomb ass stuff the models are so cute makes you want to buy everything the only thing is 
that the website sells out of size eights so quickly. It's so annoying. I also have this, which is something I would have never gone for like a few months back. This is actually from Windsor. I got this in a goodie bag when I was at Coachella. And this looks really cool. Like when you're wearing a full black outfit, like I, I feel like a lot of people wouldn't like this style, but it does look very cool. Like just for the gram. And when you take photos, you'll take it from the side, like looking down at this. And I like to kind of like hold this side as well. Like, hello, can I help you bitch? I always get people asking me about sunglass marks and if there's a way to avoid it, no bitch, you just have to keep your beauty blender at hand and then just blot it away, okay? Okay, so the next fashion favourite, I have absolutely been loving these boots, these are also from Pretty Little Thing, I feel like it's like a Pretty Little Thing ad, uh, oh my god, look at that, that is so dirty. But these boots is like a love-hate thing, like when I first looked at it on the website, it kind of it looks like one of those ugly pieces, but it looks quite cool, like I kept getting really gravitated towards it. It actually looks so cute on. It's kind of like moon boots-ish, kind of like Yeezy vibes. So I love the nude so much, I actually just ordered it in black and in army print. So this is the black version, and then this is the green army version. So it's actually really, really green. On the website, it looks more black and a little bit green. It's actually all green. Even like the base of it is like a dark green as well. These will look so freaking badass with like camo style trousers and then like a beret or something really easy to walk in it's actually really lightweight a lot of these kind of like chunky shoes are really heavy and they end up hurting your ankle but i just love the way it looks it makes you have a bit more height as well because it's kind of like platforms but your foot is actually really flat so it's kind of like you're wearing trainers at the same time it doesn't rub at all i actually got these in a size five because size four was out of stock if you want to go for that badass chick kind the Instagram vibes these boots are so cute and they're really good dupe for the Louis Vuitton boots as well this is the problem with me like when I like something I want them in every single freaking shade bitch so my next favorite product is actually a very random product but a lot of my beauty blogger friends have actually got this and it's literally saved our asses so many times you need this in your life so I actually have two, this is my one and then I bought this one for Gwang. So the one I got here looks so, so cool. You put it around your neck, it's so good. So you can leave it hanging and then you tilt this and it just blows while you're like typing when you're at a desk. It's also rechargeable as well. Also, I like to leave it on my desk if I don't have the strap on. The only thing about this one, I would say that it's not that strong compared to this one right here. So this is the newer one that I got for Gwang. I got them both from Amazon. This one is so good because it's so powerful. Even at number one, it's so much cooler. Number two. Number three, bitch! This one, you can also do like that. So you can leave it on your desk. And then why I bought this one in particular is because you can actually detach it right here. You can see it's got a USB socket. So this can actually act like a portable charger. So you can even plug in your iPhone cable and you can charge your phone with this. So you can literally put this into any other USB bank. Literally just plug it in and then just use it from there. You don't have to have this one in specific. So you can literally plug it into this one. You can turn it on. See how cool that is? This is just freaking genius. I'll make sure I leave this directly in the link below. It's so cute. I think this is only like 12 or 13 pounds and then a slightly smaller one was 15 pounds so really really cheap really affordable probably the best 15 pounds i've ever spent so a favorite that i can't even express to you guys how much of a favorite it is but it's actually my beauty box that i collaborated with cosmetics oh my god this box was such a whirlwind it was so crazy when it launched there were technical issues but it actually sold out within one day which is so crazy i'm so glad there's so many of you guys that absolutely love the products it's inside it was a nightmare picking the products and stuff like that but i really really hope you guys loved it i'm so sorry for all the people that couldn't get one i honestly thought that selling 400 of them would be so hard but it actually flew off the shelves which is so crazy so I had to mention it obviously in this video. Thank you so much again Cosme Tips and thank you so much to all you guys that made my first ever collaboration so memorable. Okay guys so that's it for this favourites video. I hope you guys liked some of my random favourites that I popped in here. I'm so sorry there wasn't more beauty or skincare products because your girl has been so stressed recently. My hair 
is literally turning grey as we speak. But if you guys like this video, please make sure you subscribe and give me a little comment down below. Also, maybe a little cheeky thumbs up would really, really help out my channel. If you guys haven't followed me on all my other social media platforms yet, it's just X Tweely on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys, enjoy the bloopers. Oh my freaking god, it's so hot in here, I'm sweating. <laughs> okay, we're flying through these favourites, yes! I have to tell them about this as well. And I loved it so much that I actually got it in black and camel print. <laughs> Just dropped the product. It's hot in here, my ashes are sweating. Okay, bitch. <laughs>